things that happen on the racetrack and keeping those tempers in check because you can sure get them riled up here. Whew, that can be hard to do. <laughs> Folks, polo seat belts tied on the sofas at home. They are two by two in Bristol, Tennessee. Thunder Valley, they call it the Coliseum of Collision and we're gonna turn them loose with a green flag. Hello everybody and welcome to round 24 here at Bristol in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. This is Bristol 2019 BBMC uh, night, obviously night. Uh, um, yeah, I don't even know why it didn't dawn on me that they have a night version or a Bristol version over at BBMC. I would have run the day version there as well, but um, yeah, we're a little bit past that. So we're just going to use the night one and We'll save the day one for the spring race in 2010. Um, started 25th. We have a decent car. I think I just botched up really bad in qualifying. Bristol, like I always said, is one of our better tracks. So I feel, wow. I just saw something in my mirror. Looks like they sorted it out, but someone slammed up in the wall. I think that was Almondinger. Trying to figure out who's slowing us up down here. Is it Kevin or Bobby? Ambrose came right up on me. Somebody on the bottom groove here is holding us up. Oh, please be clear when we get past up up here at the top. It's not. All right. Well, 21st. It's one way to pass a bunch of cars. Caution number one. Off of turn two, Kyle gets into Joey, who's going to get into Jimmy. And Jimmy goes around. Well, he's kind of just sideways right now. Kyle is, gets under him okay. And then... This is kind of where we come into play. Terry hits him head on. Sends him up into Reagan. And then Reagan drills the back of the 48. And uh, yeah, forced us to have to check up. Everyone gets to dip on down there and get past him. Mikey hit him? Oh yeah, Mikey tipped him. Wow. That's a pretty hefty shot. Oh, Burton gets into him again. What about up here? Ah, nothing really there. So we're going to get the green with 139 to go. Terry is one lap down, and then Jimmy is out of the race, which I kind of figured one of the Johnson or Reagan would have been out. Reagan's going to still be on the lead lap from... What happened literally right in front of us there. Um, we're going to be running in 20th. So we're up five spots. So that's something. A little bit loose on that start, but we're okay. This should be interesting. I 
think we're faster than the 29, but we're just being held up. So we're going to just give him a friendly Still nudge out of the way. Still there. Clear all around, all clear. I think we're probably going to be faster than the 96 as well. I like how we didn't actually get under Bobby. We had to lock up a little bit to avoid running into him, but he gave us the room, so... I can appreciate that. Hopefully your brother is just as courteous as we go to go around and try to lap him as we uh, work our way up there. Looking up ahead, it doesn't look like he is. Kind of bombed under Gilliland, but we make it work. Joey's run, a, run the high line. We'll gladly take the bottom. Looks like Terry's been worked up to the high groove, so... He might actually hold up Jamie McMurray for us, too. Oh, Jamie says no. No, I'm not going to sit here. He goes and makes it three wide. Uh, we can get a run on Rudiman. We do. Ah, uh, got a little loose. Yeah, it, we're running top ten in points. So we're in the chase right now. But, you know, uh, I thought I heard somebody crashing. We're just going to park it down here, I think. Oh, oh, that's already cleared up. Caution number two. They were four wide, it looked like at one point there. Uh, and then Bobby and Gillily make some contact. Bobby kind of gets it saved, it looks like. Yeah, he saved it. But Joey gets into David Gilliland pretty hard there. Then Junior tags him. Gordon sneaks by on the outside. Hornish is going right into the hornet nest there. Um, anybody else? Ooh, woo, woo. Gilliland. Wow. Harvick. Or Almondinger and Hamlin. Harvick gets sent up there. Almondinger's still going. Oh, Kane gets into Hamlin real hard. Wow. He's still rolling down the hill. We got another angle. Wow, Harvick just got drilled by Joey. That's going to end in a few days. Alright, so the crash has already started, so we already know what happens there. This is the tail end is what I want to catch. Man, we've, yeah, we've seen that type of crash a few times. Junior in a 07, I think it was. Earlier this year, we saw Junior in Blaney, I think it was. Man, he's just all around. He's just on for the ride. Everyone's just trying to get through it, and they're all collecting each other. Almondinger keeps just rolling down the hill. It doesn't even look like he's going to get off his roof. Oh, these guys, they're all fine. Big wreck. So there'll be 124 to go when we go green. Um, Tony Raines, Joey Logano, David Gilliland... AJ Allmendinger and Jimmy Johnson are all the cars out. There's 30 cars on the lead lap. Some did pit under this caution, so we're currently 10th. Um, our tires are worn, but not enough where I don't think we're going to see more cautions. So I, I feel like if we're going to pit, we can always pit a little bit later on. I think we'll be okay. Um, this is going to be fun to try to navigate. Truex came flying up there like a bat out of hell. Uh, 
I don't know which line to follow to get through the lap traffic, so we're just going to run the high groove, I guess, for now. Seems like we're getting through the lower lane there with all the lap cars. Okay. Uh, I caught the wall a little bit there. I thought about it, but didn't want to do it. I just can't get off the corners very well at this Bristol. And I don't trust myself in the middle. I know my limits. That was one of them. Kevin just went up and popped the wall. Off of turn four the last lap. So that was a little startling. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Still there. Stay low. Yellow's out. Yellow's out. You're clear if you need to stay low. Well, there's another yellow. I feel like they just got to get themselves sorted out. BBMC tracks have always been fun, so from the little experience I have. So we'll ride it out. I'm, I think it'll be okay. Caution number three. Oh, four wide right there. And that's going to send Blaney in front of Terry. Terry hits Blaney. Who's he going to hook? Is he going to get Junebug? Nope, just misses him. But they do get Paul Menard. And then Paul hits the inside wall. Terry's going to come up. Yeah, he's going to get Stremmy. Going to get Gordon. They're going to... Oh, someone going up. Yeah, there he goes. I figured someone might go over. Terry goes over. Jeez. Jeff's going to get drilled right there. Yeah, not too bad. Terry, though. He's just rolling... Down the hill. No, he gets it upright. Nothing down here. Well, that's about it. Every, all these accidents clear up pretty quick. Oh, wait a minute. Before we check out of this one, see if Paul hits anybody. Nope. All right, so 113 be 112 at the line. Uh, is Jeff Gordon's leading? How did he get up there? Pace car's gone. Stay ready. That's weird. Green flag. Alright. Green's out. No, Scott Speed's Wait, Jeff Gordon's tail end? I should... Ah. Uh, I should have waved around those cars. We would have gotten rid of some of this lap traffic, too. Damn it. I should have caught that sooner. That's my fault. I apologize, everybody, for that mistake. That's a mistake that sucks for consistency and sucks for the racing, because that literally would have actually probably helped us stay green, because uh, less cars a lap down to deal with. I don't. So I said I don't trust myself in the middle. Oh. I didn't trust myself in the middle, but I put myself in that situation, so that's my fault. I apologize, Robbie. Jamie was just hounding and stupid move. Caution number four, entirely our fault. I knew we shouldn't be in the middle. I tried it. And, uh, yeah. 
didn't work out the best. You'll see here. We end up getting into Robbie. Robbie gets into Jamie. Robbie spins. We get it going. But I'm curious how bad it was for Robbie. He's going to get Junior. Yeah, Junior gets him. Denny. Yep, Denny gets him. Anybody else back here? Yeah, they might pile in. Ooh, Reagan gets into Reed. Tony into Joe. That's about it. So we pit under this caution. There'll be 103 to go when we go green. But before we had even pit, there's something weird with the apron. If you go too low in the center of the turns, it thinks you're on pit road. And so I had dipped down there to avoid getting hit. And because I had passed somebody and dipped down onto that portion of it, it gave me an EOL. Now, we were going to be in the back anyway because of when we decided to pit. But I'm like, got to be really careful about that now. Oh, boy. Yellow's out, yellow's out, you're clear if you need it. Clear, clear. Side, side, you had a spin for now. Three wide, inside. Clear, clear. Lost side, it's curtain two, it's curtain down the back. Correct, you're Lost side, three wide now in the middle, lost side. Sam just ate the wall. Caution number five. Off of turn two, Nemechek gets like sideways looking and then slides down right into David Rudiman. Nemechek's going to hit the wall pretty hard, actually. Um, he's going to slide. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Casey, though. Casey did get him. Burton, he gets Bobby. Stremmy. Stremmy's actually going to flip the 87. Is he going to make it over... Yeah, we had to lock up, and yeah, Nemechek's going to land on and stay on his lid. All right, let's rack him up and try again. We got the same penalty again, too. We just had clipped the apron, and we got it. So if we get another caution, we cannot... I mean, I knew we were behind the 24, so I'm not going to lose any spots. Otherwise, I would have not let anybody pass me. We're back here because that's where we are supposed to be, but... Anyway. Oh, man. Gonna try the outside groove here, see if we can get any momentum. We got the 24, and it looks like we're gonna get the 43. The 14 slow though. Clear. Oh, he's got damage. Uh, this is frustrating. Oh, there we go. Clear all around, all clear. Yellow's out, yellow's out. You're clear if you need it. Lost side. Tony, get off of me. I didn't exit pit safely. Go to the end of the longest line. No, I'm not going to the end of the longest line. I am sorry, NASCAR. I'm staying behind Dave Blaney. Caution number six. Looking to see where it starts. Doesn't look like it would be here. It looks like it'd probably start farther back here. Oh, right there, I see Robbie. Robbie's going to get turned by Rudiman going into turn three. Turns three and four were, have been calamity corner. So he's going to go down. Oh, no. Yeah, they block up the track pretty good here. If I from memory serves correctly. And then I got penalized for stupid BS reasons because I'm on the apron. Like, where was I supposed to go? <laughs> we get hit. By, I think, Tony. No, we don't. We just run into Reagan. Yeah, just another 
pile up. It looks like they're going to shove Casey Kane over. They do. Well, that's a very anticlimactic flip. They literally are just pushing each other like it's NASCAR 15. Definitely been of a battle in a coliseum so far. That's for sure. Ugh, he won't shut up about stay behind, stay behind. I'm not staying behind anybody. And then Ellie can pass me if he wants to the bottom when we go to the line. He'll get penalized. I don't care. I'm so frustrated with the spotter doing that. Y'all saw it. And you could hear what they were black flagging me for. It was ridiculous. So I wanted to clear my black flag. Green flag. You know how hard that was to do while driving? I don't even think Elliot will get penalized because I was technically a penalized driver, so works out, I guess. Going to try to get Blaney on the outside. We do. So that's 16th. All right, well, going in the right direction anyway, finally. Clear all around, all clear, left side, high, four, nine, stay low. Still there. Got to run on route, man. Three wide. Outside, be three wide. Still there. I don't think we're three wide. Oh, probably because we were passing cars who were coming out of pit road. So a little bit more chaotic than I expected from a BBMC track. But the overall look and the track, the driving, like the racing feels good. The, I don't know. I feel like Martin's coming back down pit road. So we got to be careful of that. Yep, there he goes. Alright, so we're, thir we're 13th. Okay. Take it. Hopefully we're about to get into a long green flag run now. But I feel like it will be interrupted because of those guys who are on pit... Uh, pit road like loops looks like Hornish and Truex so I feel like they're gonna come up collect somebody and bring out another caution but till then I am perfectly content with 12th at the moment who is leading huh Scott Speed. Scott Speed's leading this race by by a good chunk, I might add, over Matt Kenza. Two seconds. At Bristol, that's a big chunk of change. We're struggling to try to get to the top ten. Meanwhile, Scott Speed looks like he might win the race. Welcome to the 2009 season, folks. Who's for position in front of us? I know Mark Martin is. Denny Hamlin is. Vickers. Yeah, and there's a few lap cars in here, too. Sam's going to probably head back down Pitt Road. Yep. Clear 
clear all around, all clear. Lock, lock, lock. Lock side. Still there. Clear all around, all clear. Outside. Clear all around, all clear. No caution, please. Thank you. Alright. Well, Denny ate it. That's fine with me. Outside. Still out there. Trying to work around Mark here. Be careful. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to dip under him because Hornish. Got to be careful through turn one and two as well. Well, now that that fun is all settled. Let's try to get back here and get into the top ten. One, seven, six. Outside. Clear. Bernard is not for position, right? No. Okay. Clear. Oh, six, five. Outside. Clear all around, all clear. I think we I think we're faster than Mark Martin. We're just really, really loose off these corners right now. Inside. Maybe that'll clear, tighten clear. us up. Make some <laughs> self-made adjustments on the racetrack. Car's too loose. We can't pit. I got the fix. Let me just put it in the wall. Yeah, we do feel actually a little bit snugger. A little bit more snug, I should say. Not snugger. <laughs> off of uh, turn two there. But that could just be the subconscious thing. The mind sees what it wants kind of deal. We're hanging right there with Mark. I believe that if we were to get around him, we could be faster. But I also don't see the point in pressing the issue with all that lap traffic coming up. I feel like We'll get our opportunity. 15, 9, 8, Scott Speed's running away with this. He's almost three seconds out over... All right, we yeah, can't go yeah, on the apron. There we go. All right, well, we're good. <sighs> the camera has not had to go far out of turns three and four to get all these cautions tonight. They're all in pretty much the same area. Down the back straight away, Bobby comes off the wall. He knocks into Kurt, and then Casey Mears and Greg Biff will go and get at it with each other. Um, Casey's going to go up to hit the wall. Robbie's up there. And that's it. Nobody else? Surely, well, the caution's already out, so that was the reason. Does Paul get him? No. Truex. No, he's probably not going to hit him either. That was probably one of the more uneventful cautions we've had. There'll be 58 to go when we hit the line, and boy, there's a lot of traffic underneath of us. Uh, yeah, not thrilled about that. It's like we're starting 20th. Um, yeah, Scott, Scott Speed, wow, he's still leading. Well, I mean, obviously, he didn't pit or anything like that, so he'd still be in the lead, but <laughs> surprising. Are you ready? Green flag. Inside. Four, two, 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 stay high. Trying to just stay up here so we don't lose these guys still as they there. try to get around the lap cars on the outside. Uh, we touched Robbie just a tiny bit. Saw the 24 pit. I hope he's not on a pit cycle. If we have a ton of cars on a pit cycle, we're so screwed. 
they're going to check up hard in turn one and two for Hornish. Yep. Lap cars are killing me. And I can't do the three wide pass like I want to. Well, maybe going in. Did not think we were going to keep that together. How the hell did that happen? Okay. Okay. Well, we're still in 10th. I'm pissed off, though. Bobby Labonte. <laughs> Every season there's something with Bobby. It's almost at the point where it's kind of comical. But it's not, but it is. I see Mark just driving off in the distance there. Somebody wiggled way down in front of us and then came back up. I don't know who that was. That was Tony. These lap cars on this pit cycle crap. I feel like they've been a big p Outside. part of why we've had cautions. But if we didn't get any of that, I feel like we would have had a pretty green flag race. Gonna try to get past Johnny Andretti. Wow, he is really fighting me. For a lap down, he is really putting up an annoyingly strong fight. Clear all around, all clear. I'm hoping Carl holds up Mark. So we can get back up there. Try try to, you know, maybe get into ninth. Who is it's still Scott Speed, but not by much over Ryan Newman. Ryan's about a tenth behind him. What do we got? 43 to go? Yeah, 43 to go. 15, yeah, Jeff's definitely on a pit road loop. Inside. Clear, clear. I'm glad that we were cleared because I did not think he was going to come up in line that close to me. I was going to be going to the bottom whether or not we had our spot of state clear. <laughs> did not even think about it. Got good straightaway pace once we can get off the corner without going sideways, but our pace is just not fast enough, I think, to get under them. Whoa, we got sideways. I don't know how we're gonna get past Mark.
That might have been our window right there, but we were not close enough to take advantage of it. Got a good run down the front straight by that time. Yeah, we got loose. We're definitely looser off of turn two than we are at turn four. I've been trying to go turn four to get ready and then turn two to pass. I think we gotta use turn two to set up and turn four to to make our move. Like that. But not where they pass us back. That works. Clear, clear. I don't think we're clear, spotter. I think we were three wide. And my spotter just forgot to tell me that. Scott Speed still leads. Wow. I thought Ryan would have had his lunch money by now. We got 31 to go. What's our interval? Back to the leaders, or up to the leaders. We were 5.6. Still 5.6, so pretty even. Uh, we gained two tenths that time. Drove in a little bit hard that time to turn one. Gained four tenths that lap. We got into some contact with Bobby. Wasn't going to intentionally hit him. I can't see. I can't see. Okay, we're okay. It took eight cautions to get here. But we finally have a caution on the front straightaway. Three wide. It looks like they were just getting loose or something and started wrecking into each other. Yeah, they piled right on up in that. Right there. Um, Biffle gets it. Elliot gets it. Regan. Kurt. Brian. Matt. Yeah, the, nothing up, up there. Anybody, these guys piling? No, there's hardly anybody back here either. We're locked up because I'm not trying to go too low to get a damn penalty, but I think we actually did because of that being on the apron. It's so, so weird. I, it's probably my only major complaint other than the continuous pit cycles some of these guys are doing, but that happen, can happen anywhere. That would be 20 to go when we go green here. It's like started 14th now since we're in 7th. Uh, Kurt Busch and Jamie McMurray are out. So this is big uh, chase wise because David Rudiman was the one behind right Kurt right Busch. Because Busch came in here um, 12th in points and now he's out. Yeah, and Rudiman's having a pretty decent Seven, go at it today. Five, so four, that's pretty big. Um, Our tires are not that good. So I'm hoping we're going to be all right. Five, seven, six. 
inside. Still there. This isn't gonna be good. Stay high. Clear, clear. Cloud side, inside. No, oh, this might not get I might get ugly here. Still there, still there. Stay high. Clear. Yep, there they go. I can't see. Wow. Caution number nine. Come on, you really think we were done with crashing on the back straight away? <laughs> we uh, almost were four wide there, and so we try to back out, but we clipped to John Andretti, who's going to get Junior. And then Mears. And then they all start wrecking. All three of them turn at the same time. Then Denny got turned. And then, yeah, I couldn't see anything. This will actually do one more angle from because I just want to see some. And then the C's just part. Wow, Casey Mears up and over. On top of Robbie Gordon and Denny Hamlin. We sneak right through. We get a little contact, but the majority of it's still back here. Mears is up on his lid. Wow. Right, I do want to do one more angle on this one. All right, I just wanted to see this one real fast in slow motion. Um, yeah, so they're wrecking. Yeah, I can't, I can't see anything. And I start to see the C part. Yeah, Mears goes over. Danny just clipped us just the slightest bit. And then we go on our way. That was... I was incredibly lucky. All right, buddy, coming to the green here. So we were running eighth. There's only two cars we would have dropped to, which would have been tenth. Um, and with over ten laps we'd be double file so we'd only go back like two rows essentially instead of being at the end of like a single file line so with the way the tires were there was no point in even gambling on keeping uh the 42 and the 88 behind me without pushing it too hard and ended up wrecking so we elected to pit get damage repaired get four tires on it and uh we'll see what we can do I believe we have a fast enough car to pick up a couple spots. I'm going to trust myself here I, now that we have better tires. Good save, Junior. I had to back way out of it to try to not run them over. Now that I have a feel for my car, I feel more comfortable running three wide if needed. Wow, we are really trying to turn that 88. I am so sorry, Junebug. These guys are so slow. It's unreal. Like, go. Fine, we'll go. Where did that come from? I have no idea. That was the pass of the night for me. It's probably the four fresh tires. All right. Well, let's see how far we can go with this. Can we? Uh, I wanted to send it under Kenseth there, but thought better of it. All right. Now we're gonna send it. Be three wide. Outside. Be three wide. Thank you, Robbie Gordon. Robbie held them all up. Oh my gosh, we are on a mission to get up there. Our car is faster because we got four freshies. 
that little hiccup might have cost us. No, no way. We're still way faster than them. Yeah, we're coming up to them quick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got loose. Clear right there, two to go. Clear all around, all clear. Inside, 15, 8, 3, 7, stay high. We got Biffle. Stay high. White flag, we took the lead. It took 150 laps to get there. Clear all around, all clear. Wow. Fresh tires, man. Wow. I can't believe that. Yeah, victory lane, baby, number three in 2009, our second in three races. Holy cow, how did that happen? It all goes back to that crazy move we made with Junior. Wow. <laughs> We're going to get the win. Scott Speed second, Ryan Newman, Greg Biffle, Kyle Busch, Mark Martin, Matt Kenseth, Brian Vickers, Junior, Montoya. <laughs> Wow. Well, that's going to do it for Bristol. That was incredible finish. Uh, thank you all for the love and support through likes, comments, subscriptions, etc. And uh, till next time, have a good one.